Hello, my fellow Wastelanders. I am more to me for life, and we are back with Fallout 4 Challenge Builds. Today, I'm doing an update video to see how far we have gotten at the Slog, the Turkish Bath. There's a little bit more decoration going on. A few more things have been put in. I'll walk around out here really quick if I can walk and show you what I've got. We've got a turret sitting here and a. Come on, another turret sitting here. I think I'm going to build up this one just a little bit more for the actual final walkthrough. I need some texturing on the outside here, but I haven't gotten to that just yet. I want to make sure that the inside gets all the decoration it could possibly hold before I do that. We have got a Brahmin area. Nice little area. For some reason, the Brahmin have decided not to show up ever since I put that over there. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, and then there is this, which is a new lookout tower, and I've actually taken the time to tilt the whole building so it looks like it's kind of sunk in the ground. And there's going to be a little bit more decoration in here. I haven't gotten to that part yet. And let's just go around the top. I have boarded up some of the windows, so it looks like they have done a little bit of work. And we've got a great view of the ironworks, which of course is a place where there is constant worry of being attacked. Now, let me just walk the way I want to walk in here because that's good. I'm not going to use the stairs, I'm going to use the rail. Alright, so there's that. And then here is our organic, uh, well, um, bar slash smoothie slash uh, food area. And this is where all the food is going to be grown. I haven't quite finished this area. I want to put more layers of plants in here and stuff. So this area is not quite finished yet. And then we of course have got this back area. I don't think I went upstairs the last time. I'm not even sure this part was built yet, but um, there's just a couple of beds in here so far. I haven't actually put in large item placement. This is just me finishing up the building part of it. Ah! I fell off. And down here is going to be like an old government building. Not quite finished. I haven't fleshed this area out yet. But there is that. And I was told that that swan up there is just a little overdoing it. So y'all let me know. I kind of like it, but then it's, it's kind of way too much with that swan there. I haven't figured out where I want to put it if I want to leave it in here at all. And... That's pretty much the only thing that I've been working on, aside from adding in these two areas, which is a seaweed wrap area. This is where they get the seaweed, and you lay right here, and you get wrapped up, and then your skin is all soft afterwards. And then we've got a mud bath area over here. And I wish I could put, like, some splotches of mud or something around the outside of it to make it look a little bit better, but... Uh, decoration is not done, and I don't think there's one that actually adds mud in. So I don't think that will be helpful. And I have decided to leave these here, but I've tilted one like it's fallen down against the wall. And let's see. And I covered this one in my last video, but I will walk through it again. I don't think I've added anything aside from a couple of other plants that I found that I could build with fertilizer. These ones right here, those are absolutely beautiful. And I was very happy to find out that I could build it with just fertilizer. So I put those in. And that is pretty much it. I don't think I've done anything in here besides uh, putting some beds over here. And i got a random can just sitting there. And I sunk them down so hopefully people will actually be able to sleep on them. And it'll look like they're laying down to get their massages or whatever. And that is pretty much it. Nothing else has changed. I haven't gotten to the decoration part. I spent most of the time just building and trying to figure out what I wanted to do over there. And believe it or not, that tower, I'm not really sure if I like the tower. So y'all let me know what you, you think down there in the comment section on how you feel about the tower. I don't know if it actually fits the concept of this area. To me, it just seemed like it was better. And it was recommended that I put some birds here. So I do have a couple of birds floating around, just kind of eyeballing everything. And let me see if I can see them from here. Where are they at? I've got some fish down in that water somewhere. Let's see if we can go find them. If they're going to show up. There they are. I'm not sure if it's going to show up on the rendering process, but there are actually fish in here now. 
uh, swimming around in little schools, so there are reasons why the birds are here. Very, very natural. Uh, and there's another bird over here. And another one over there. Sadly, they don't take off and fly or anything. They just kind of eyeball the fish. That's all they do. So that is it, except for up here on the top. I decided not to go with uh, housing. That's what's gonna. That's what that big building in the back is going to be for. I use this area Let's for see now. shush for sunbathers. And I think I'm going to put uh, some drink machines back here and maybe a bar to get some more towels and water and stuff like that. I haven't quite decided. That's in large item placement. So I haven't gotten to that part yet. But this area is just about done as well. So this build is pretty much built. Now I'm going on to large item placement. And I think... I might actually be able to go to large item placement and then straight into decoration. I'm not sure. Just kind of depends on how much I have to do and whether or not I'm going to have to go scavenge some more resources. And I would like to thank everybody who was able to give me some ideas on where to buy the fertilizer and to find fertilizer. It was very, very helpful. As you can see, I have been putting plants in everywhere that required it. So it's a very natural very feng shui environment well probably not technically feng shui but to me it feels that way but that is all i have got for this week i hope you have enjoyed uh just let me know what you think about the swan being up there it might be a little too much it might very well be a little too much um and whether or not the tower is too much i kind of like it it kind of fits in with all the other bricks but as far as it being pre-war i'm not sure if it actually fits in as something you would actually see in a spot like this. Like, that was, this is obviously a pool area, so why on earth would there be a tower over there unless maybe, maybe it was actually a kid's slide area pre-war. I don't know. I don't know. I found it, I liked it, and I threw it up. We'll just see how, what everybody thinks. Anyway, that is all I have got for today. Y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful 5 o'clock somewhere. Bye-bye!